using case studies for production corporate communication a structure subject use and introduction and case studies can raise the issues uh, come in line how to get case studies material three issues how to turn a goat into an axe exam right object use known how to case studies can make the issue come alive learn how to get case study material describe the three issues of case studies introduction it is often quite difficult to explain eh, complex issues and processes in the abstract and even when this is possible it does not have the same power that a real life example has which shows the circumstances of an actual person and how their life is changed through your work to give an example many development organizations promote microcredit where poor people are offered small loans for <coughs> <coughs> for projects which improve their livelihood or to help them develop new forms of income generation. The ultimate aim of this program is to live him out of poverty in order to show people the impact of this sort of work is, is much more easily done through an actual example. For example, Butterfly runs a youth bank program where a group of street children administer a fund which can make grants and loans to address their problems and the needs of street children. The program can also have an impact on the problems in, a, in, the, world, in the world around them. There are two interesting concepts here, small grants and the loans making a big impact on the lives of the street children and a fund where all the decisions are granted and the loans are made by the street children rather than try to explain the butterfly youth bank in a general terms it is much more effective to show the young grand makers at work and to illustrate these well examples of grants and loans that they have made one loan was made to radhika a 14 years old street girl using the shelter facility facilities provided by the butterflies project in delhi she received a small loan of Rs. 3,700, approximately $75, to set herself up to a street vendor selling eggs and sweets so that she could earn her key in more satisfactory ways than begging or rack picking and even start saving for her future. Telling the story of Radhika illustrates the problems that street children face including how they come to be on the street and show that there are ways of addressing their problems and needs. If the case study can be further illustrated with a photograph, then this becomes a very powerful story which can influence people's thinking on street children, move people to give their support, and even be used at the community level to pursue more people to do something to change the lives of street children. Okay. Case study can make... Okay. See, street children... Within any organization, there are hundreds of interesting case studies just waiting to come out. The woman who became illiterate and was subsequently elected has a village sarpan, the widow who had a hectare of dry land and planted a mixture of appropriate crops and managed to feed her family and earn, earn some income, which her neighbors who had better land 
planted an intensive cash crop which failed when the rains failed that year and so on okay so case studies can make the issue come alive okay second line case studies can make the issues come alive glad in her old school uniform 10 years old gomati hides behind a pillar and watches her friends learning their lessons Two years ago, she used to study in the same prime school, primary school at uh, Gautam Kher. Gautam Kher village, 25 kilometers from the capital of Uttar Pradesh. But nowadays, she sta stays at home to her to help her mother with household chores. Chore. Sometimes, uh, sometimes she cannot resist uh, doing her uh, school uniform, a blue frock and white pajamas, and run to her old school to watch classes in progress. Gomati could be the perfect real life example of an ICF mascot, Mina. The heroine of an animal animation film series symbolizing the condition of the girl child in South Asia. I love reading books and drawing, but I don't know what will happen. She tells India Indo Asian News Service as some state official arrive in her village. The officials are from the Janshala School Improvement Project run by the state with the help of five UN agency, UNICEF, UNESCO, UNDP, UNFPA, and ILBO. The official wants to uh, <coughs> cajole the committee's thought, looking further to send the girl back to school. Like, like committee, there are at least 31,500 students in Lucknow, who are not studying and they are mostly girls. The tribal village of Latrotu, about 40 kilometers from the capital of Jharkhand state, had several problems but one solution. Next, the villagers behind believed an elder couple, Lohari Aron, 65 and his wife Sobi, 57, were casting the evil light on them, which curses are their work. On March 10, above bridled the couple's house and uh, dragged them to the central meeting place in their village. They were trying to pull a maid to each human, excreted by the order of the village, summoned, and then uh, beaten to death. Such a sheltered or a way of life in the underdeveloped tribal pockets of the state where people lack education and health care facilities. They are puppets in the hands of village shamans. The latter brand are unpopular and often weak villagers who are unable to defend themselves as waste, causing a villager's misfortune. For the misfortunes ranging from ill health to loss of crops and livestock, women and elderly couples bear the brunt of attacks. At times, Gulibel villagers are incited to whip out entire families. Then <clears throat> again, the police say property dispute. Or the real reason for these flake ANGO trying to stop which hunts in a state saying nearly 570 dead were reported between 1991 and 2001. Often such deaths go unreported, especially if they have 
if they happen in remote interior from far police station, far from police station. How to get case study material? You should identify interesting case study from your organization. Work and keep them on file for use when they are needed. Tell people stories in preview. Then you capture their feelings and ideas in their own words. Make photographs which say illustrated what has happened in their life. Use the case studies to describe the circumstances people find themselves in, to show the process of change at work, and to describe the impact of your work. Getting good case studies material can be done in a very variety of ways. A journalist should be asked to interview people and write about their lives. This is what P. Saina did so successful in every day. Loves a good broad and more recently John Stackhouse in Out of Poverty, Poverty, Poverty both published by the Penguin India in 1996 and 2000 respectively. The beneficiaries you are working with can be invi invited to tell their own stories, sharing experience with each other, at a workshop. What they say can be tapped or videotaped and then written down. Field workers can be asked to write and write pen portraits of the people they are working with as a natural part of their work. Senior staff can be sent on field strike and then asked to write a report which includes pen portraits of the individuals they have met. Local people can be provided with cameras and film and asked to record some of the changes taking place. Captions of the photographs can be written when the film is downloaded. A professional photographs can be briefed to documentary a community. Okay, these are the things can be get it. Case study. Three issues. Confidentiality. Sometimes it is important to maintain confidentiality and not disclose the circumstances of an individual or a family in such a way that they can be identified. If this is the case, then a composite portrait can be written using facts and circumstances from different people and a facious name for that individual whose circumstances are being described. This is not an actual case study, but a financial portrait that is representing a real life situation. You should say that for reasons of confidentiality, we have described yes, situations where the individual cannot be recognized. Okay, how to turn a goat into an axe? An axe, axe. So, Arum is a widow who lives in a Bordeaux, Baroda area of southern Ethiopia. Barido, Barido. Arumi is a widow who lives in, uh, who lives in uh, Barida area of southern Ethiopia. Seven years ago, she found herself unable to make both and meet for herself and her three children. When we started working in her village, she made a decision to apply for a loan under the small animal credit scheme for very targeting, targeting and female headed households using the loan she was able to purchase a goal. This uh, initially provided the family with milk, but subsequently the goat reproduced and the offsprings were sold to a generate an original additional income for Aaron. Where this profit Arim was able to purchase a drop ox, thereby enhancing her capacity to engage in agriculture activities. She is now a proud mother, having met the food and other requirements of her family, with her elder son soon to complete school and go to college. This story was provided by Action for Development, Addis Abab X. Ethiopia and was illustrated with a picture of Arum 
plunging with her ox, Aziz was an uproar. Okay, one other story and this time here. Aziz was an apron three years ago. At the age of ten, he was sold into slavery by his uncle. After two years, walking fourteen hours a day every day and scarcely and scarcely ever seeing the daylight as he escaped and arrived in nineteen ninety six on the street of Mumbai to join the fifteen thousand other street children in the city earlier childhood. We first came across as this when someone rang someone range over twenty four hours emergency helpline to tell us he had been uh, beaten up and uh, left for dead lying on the street. We were able to see him through hospital, paying all the bills since they were we were uh, keep in touch. Today as this works for us as a volunteer to Evening a week answering emergency calls from other street children, and we will also been able to help him with his ambition to become a carpenter. Each year of the children home, we answer over 10,000 calls and we provide emergency assistance to over 1,000 street children from providing medical assistance and dealing with problems with our police to help them make a contact with their families and even the return home with they wish to do so. Child Hope is a unique service helping some of our most vulnerable children at their time of greatest, greatest need. This story was written as an exercise at a communication workshop. Okay, permission, it is a polite to seek and obtain permission of an individual before describing their circumstance in a case study or a caption photography. If they know that the case study is being used for a good purpose or help more people like them, then there should be no difficulty in getting their permission. Payment, there is a related question at the weather to offer any form of payment either to them or for the benefit of their community, you are using their, their image and describing their circumstances and you may even receive payment yourself for doing that. In most circumstances, payment is not really an issue in case there is uh, some commercial benefits being obtained for the story or the photograph, then it might be appropriate to share. This is uh, some way. This can be discussed when permission is being sought. Okay, this is the case studies uh, through how to get it done up because the using case studies was promoting corporate communication.